Good afternoon, YouTube. I am here to finally do the unboxing and review of the Lucid Light sunglasses that I have been promising for such a long time. Good news though, and some bad news. We're going to get the uh, review, uh, I guess in a sense, the ball rolling on that because I just can't wait any longer. However, uh, if you are following me at all on YouTube, <clears throat> on my channel, uh, you'll notice that I finally, and I'm so proud of myself, finally re achieved 18 and over video for my cursing. Thank you, T-Mobile. Thank you so much. There should be a follow-up because if you watched the first video and then watched my follow-up video where I said I thought everything was fine, that's not true. Uh, I don't even know where it is. There's another phone that's supposed to be on its way for me today because even that phone is screwed up. So it's no longer, I think, a T-Mobile problem. It's both a T-Mobile, Samsung, and just the global world. So anyways, getting into more productive products, the Lucid Lights. Like I said, they too, unfortunately, have had a few struggles, but um, the last that I spoke to Helen, uh, very promising things are coming down the pike. Um, they are listening to us, so if you're out there, follow Lucid. They do have uh, a YouTube channel. They're all over the place. Uh, I'm, I guess, too old for that shit, so I just pretty much do the YouTube thing because I can see it. It's easy enough for me, and uh, I'm on Facebook, but uh, not really a big presence there either. I just kind of do this for anybody that uh, wants to watch a video one day. So anyways, let's get into it. <clears throat> these are the same as these, but in black. So we'll just put those over there for now. And we're going to get into this. Just wanted to also say that um, the, uh, actually it was those white hair. I didn't even, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. Uh, I had mentioned that, uh, I think I mentioned that there was a problem with uh, the lenses. Yeah, it was my screw. But um, as usual, Helen and them were all over it. And actually the lenses in here are the silver. So if anybody is looking, uh, these are silver lenses in the white uh, zero gravity sports. So, as we start getting into that, I, <clears throat> I do want, like I said, to mention that um, Lucent is definitely listening to us. And um, I, I, I spoke to Helen for quite some time on the phone last week and uh, mentioned, you know, some of the stuff that I've been putting on here on, on, on YouTube or just in general telling my friends and family about the, uh, the product. And... Um, we get into that sports design. I cannot wait till those come out. Oh, let me also just mention, um, I know I put links to different things on the end of, or in my descriptions. Um, I know I usually just put the basic one to go to Lucid's either channel or uh, to their website directly. However, uh, full disclosure, they had an affiliate type thing where you can sign up and I'm going to use that link. And the only reason I'm explaining this is because if a new product line comes out that is in that sports model or that more sporty thing that I just keep talking about that I just can't get over on these, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll have some fundage so I'm not expelling my own money because everything that's uh, been shown, talked about or whatever, it's either been um, a replacement and Lucent is taking care of that for me. Again, great customer service, or it's come out of my own pocket. So here we go. We already did that unboxing, so. Oh, ooh, this is, no, this is not I will admit though, I think only one of the boxes that I got had actually a sticker on it like that, so. All right, so as usual, we've got our cards. We've got our sunglasses and all the other stuff that we showed you in the unboxing before. So, what? Actually, I'll just leave this all together. Just back here. And we'll just put this 
So, really not much to uh, explain, describe. Pair of sunglasses. <clears throat> you will notice on the underside of each sunglass, there's a small button right up here, almost where the arm brake is. Now, speaking of arm brake, these are quite tight when they get right out of the box. However, if we take a look at the white ones that I have here, there we go, good comparison. Now, yes, I've had these for a few weeks now, but I hadn't been using them since the last review because of the fact that I didn't want to do anything until I spoke to Lucent. And so this is, uh, these were worn this past weekend and uh, went up to uh, a resort with uh, some family and friends. And I did use these for the majority of the weekend. It was an inside place, so I didn't have to use them that much. However, for the capability of music, uh, they were quite handy, of course. Uh, the place pumped in its own music, but uh, I wanted a little bit of my own stuff when I was on like a lazy river or whatever, so it kind of worked out kind of cool. However, like I said, this is, I want to say maybe two weeks worth of kind of use. So they do need to go in to uh, Eyeglass Place or Sunglass Hut or one of those type of places and get a tune-up. But other than that, not too bad. Also, with those replacement lenses, I just want to throw this in there, uh, get them out of the way. There was a uh, nice little handy wipes for your lenses. I haven't opened up one of these, but I would assume it's kind of like a towel wet or something. Hopefully you're possibly reusable. All right, so back to the glasses again. So for anyone again with the, the sight vision issue, um, when you take the glasses out of the box, like I said, they're right on the very top, <clears throat> you will definitely feel the two buttons on the underside. Any of the videos that you watch, uh, whether it's by Lucid or um, anybody else that may have produced one, they're very, very simple, very uh, straightforward, and I have not found any issues with any of those. Um, both buttons work independently, meaning both sides work independently. So I can turn on the right side and just listen to music on the right side, which is really convenient when I'm a passenger in the car because um, I want to still hear what who's ever driving is saying or if the kids are in the back, you know, I can still hear what's going on in the car, listen to the other music. Um, you know, I don't drive, but uh, even as a passenger, you know, I just like to be, I used to drive, so I guess it's kind of still in, inbred in me. Uh, so anyways, back to that. So you can turn turn right on independently, turn the left on independently once you are uh, connected to your tablet or phone or whatever device you're gonna use as your source for uh, streaming, phone calls, whatever. So that being said, each one does work independently. However, just like with most headsets that either work independently um, or are to be used as standalone, um, one side does do volume up, one side does do volume down. Uh, same with like the fast forward and rewind. So you would need to have both headsets on and synced together and then synced to your device to uh, reap all the benefits. However, if you're in an environment, like I said, example I used was the car, um, I'm not so concerned on say my left side. So I just put the music over here. Plus it's kind of convenient because if I do get a phone call and there's a lot of noise in the, in the car going on, I can uh, very simply kind of cut my hand over, the, over my own ear, which also helps with you know, pushing my voice forward. Um, on the underside, if we continue down on either side of the arm, you will feel just where the, uh, I should say the, The crook of the, uh, the arm is right here, the dog leg. Yeah, I guess that's a better way to say it, the dog leg. Uh, that's where you'll find the small, small little microphone hole. For some reason, I'm not feeling that. Have 
a possible design range. Well, that one's there. Yeah, as you can see on the white ones, it's right there. So put these down for a second. Oh, no, they're there. Okay. So yeah, same spot. Just where that bend is, right here, you're going to hear uh, your audio coming out. So <clears throat> when that sits over the top of your ear, like so, you've got that right there in the front of your ear. So the sound is coming right through. It's really great. And as I said, if you're holding your, obviously this would be coming this way here like that. So once I cut my ear like that, everything is right there. And then because of the way your arm is sitting in the car like that, seems to work for me. Not gonna say it works for everybody else. Obviously if you're the driver, same thing on the other side. Um, well, I guess maybe not because I gotta keep two hands on the wheel around. So continuing up with the sunglasses, everything else is pretty much like I said, basic. It's this pair of sunglasses. Um, everything is encased inside of the arms. So uh, your audio is in there, your uh, antenna, everything is in there. On the inside of each one of the arms, you will notice there's a small like oval area here. You'll find one on both sides. That is your charging one for each side you can charge independently obviously that's not going to be recommended because if we do charge independently one side's going to get a charge and the other side's not so the charging cable comes neatly packaged like we had seen in the unboxing before so we're just going to take this one now one of the things that I had definitely pointed out uh, in some communications with Lucid is the fact that uh, these heads on these spin a little bit. So if you need to get a more custom fit, that actually, in my opinion, is a benefit. Obviously, you don't want to over twist them or under twist them, depending on uh, which way you're twisting. So uh, one of the other things that I found is kind of getting these cords to be as straight as possible definitely helps just in the overall because you want everything to kind of just, well, at least I do, <laughs> lay nice and flat when I'm out there charging. So as you can see, the two ends will, if, no, of course, no, 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 there we go. So they will automatically magnetize to themselves because both have magnets which are going to stick on to the inside of your sunglasses. So what I have found though is when, as I was saying, they were kind of snapped together there. See, when they get packaged, I don't know if that's where this happens. So they don't want to stay facing one another. So cords. By not wanting to face one another, what that causes is when you go to put the magnet onto the actual arm. Yeah, you put some reinforcement on those. I see what happened. Yeah, the old the older ones, these cables were not. This, see, that's holding some shape. The original ones didn't have, I don't think they had that much body to them. Um, but anyways, as I was getting at, by getting them to kind of both face one another, when you go to put them on the charger, you can then take the left, because it's facing that way already, and snap it on to the, left and then take the left side one magnet and put that on the right one. Yeah. That 
that's all it takes. Just simply snap right on. Snap on, snap off. Very simple. Um, my opinion, easy. There's a slight little, like this one here, you know, it just, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get this wire to straighten out. So like right out of the box, there might be a couple of issues here and there. And this is what I'm talking about. These are the, the small little things Lucid is definitely working on because the chargers have already improved, in my opinion, four times over. And this is coming from a company that, I mean, I, I know I'm not the only one talking to them, but they obviously are listening to their customers. Unlike, say for example, Samsung, who I put a video up and I complain and my phone is still not here. So this is what I'm talking about. These big corporations, they don't care. So anyway, uh, yeah. So that that's just one of my, I guess you'd say, problems with this. I've played around with uh, trying to make some type of a, a stand. So something similar to, say for example, we took my water bottle here, but it was a little bit bigger. And both of the magnets could be mounted on either side of that. Then when I simply put my glasses up on this and I go like that, there we go. They're magnetized. But I don't know. That's just something that may already be in the works. Who knows? Another great idea that I had for them was too bad there wasn't a way to move these magnets to the outside of the, the glass glasses. And if everybody remembers, uh, towards the end of the uh, unboxing, I had mentioned that there was going to be a, uh, that there was one product that I thought was like the best thing you know, of, of everything besides the sunglasses, of course. And that is the wonderful Lucid case. That is what this little flat sucker is. It is so convenient to be able to knock your case down to that big, slip it in your back pocket. I mean, the only thing I guess that would make it a little bit better is if it was shorter to be able to, like, be the size of your cell phone. You pretty much could use the two of them together. However, then the glasses wouldn't fit on your face. So I, I understand that. <laughs> uh, but after a couple of days and such, just playing and looking at these, because of the way this case is designed, I, I could also see this case is becoming some type of a, a, a charging mechanism. I mean, let's just say we put our logos right up here on the front. So we've got our Lucid logos here on the side. They don't take up very much space. We move those there and somehow made them magnetic, your advert, no, not your advertisement, your, um, your own recommendation for inserting the glasses into the case is, if I'm sure if you're correct, face down. So what if I was putting my glasses in my case, being able to close that case up, and that case was now charging my glasses? I don't know. There's so many possibilities, but anyways. So the instructions for uh, the charging, very simple. As I said, you can uh, go ahead and we're gonna snap that one on that side, snip that one on that side. And then you can very simply plug this in to any um, USB adapter, put it on your uh, computer, car. Uh, it comes with its own brick. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell. I don't feel if there's any 
radiant markings on there, so they may be printed on it, but I just can't see them uh, for output input. Anyway, well, it's one these US, so it's 120, not 115. <clears throat> um, but again, uh, you're either going to be using a 2.0 or 3.0 uh, charging type style plug. I mean, there's so many names for every oh, for all of these nowadays. <laughs> Uh, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I guess you got to go look it up on YouTube <laughs> on a different channel. So again, once those are charging, um, there are two lights that are going to light up. I'm going to actually turn this side on where you can see that blue light that will turn to a solid red. This is going to go into pairing mode right now because again, this is the first time I had opened this box. Unfortunately, because I don't have a Samsung phone to pair these two, and I only have my tablet currently that I'm recording the video on, I figured I could postpone a pairing video and actually turn them off. And then you would just press and hold the, the underside button again um, to power down the glasses. Again, remembering that they work independently, so when you go to turn them on, hold them both at the same time, you'll get power on. Once it's powered on, as I said, it's because it's my first time turning these ones on, uh, and, and or if they don't have anything to connect to, obviously they're gonna uh, go into a pairing mode because there's nothing for them to connect to. So they find themselves not being able to pair them. So as I said, uh, if you would like, to uh, have me do a, a little bit more extensive uh, review or slash um, details on operation. If you're having any problems with your Lucid glasses, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, not that I have anything other than somebody that I can talk to and pass along your complaints. Um, and they seem to be, like I say all the time, on top of everything. Uh, again, I am going to post that affiliate link um, only for the fact of if and when uh, hopefully those new glasses that everybody keeps asking for, I believe, uh, a more sports style of these. The other thing I'd like to possibly do for you is uh, show you a lens swap. So as I said, these are the silver ones and um, because I've been using these like I said, for about a week and a half now, maybe two weeks, um, I'm gonna pop these uh, silvers out of here and uh, change them for just the standard um, UV 400, whatever it is that they come with. Um, so far, I would have to say with the silver lenses, it is definitely better for my sight problem. However, as I've complained, maybe in some videos or uh, definitely to people, the fact that the, the glasses don't wrap around enough, unfortunately gives one too much back. So stand, sitting here just like this, my window is behind the camera, is shooting just the smallest amount of light right into the lower corner of my eye, seeing as at the one eye and backlight like that now is blinding me from the inside of my sunglasses. So I think this is something that possibly some of the other customers maybe were complaining about also. I, I don't know. Um, some of the Lucid videos do show you like how to do some slight modifications and even putting a little slight bend into it. It's just not enough. Uh, again, it could be the design of my face and how, it, how the glasses lay on, on them. Um, but other than, again, the, the, the backlight and um, just the overall that, I just wish they were a little bit darker, but it, it's such a fine and hard line for someone like myself because uh, with, again, with the, the one eye, with the, the sight and with things going on the way they are right now, um, with my vision and um, just, I guess sometimes the, 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 the darker is good, but then as you all know, once you get into an area where it's dark, then you're looking for more light. So I just haven't found that, that I guess, fine balance yet, which is 
maybe not as difficult with some other glasses um, or that I've had in the past with other glasses. Uh, but again, that doesn't distract or take away from the fact that if I put a baseball cap on, and then I cut down on my top layer and it's not unbearable. Um, again, I live in Arizona, so when our sun is shining, it is uh, definitely shining. Uh, but I guess there's not much more to say on any of that. Um, hope you enjoyed the kind of review that this was. Again, lucid light sunglasses. Uh, keep up the great work. And uh, again, if you'd like to see anything or have any, uh, inf any information you'd like to know, uh, just reach out to me. Okay, thanks a lot, YouTube. Have a great day.